Well, I've been thinking about doing this for quite some time now, and I've just decided to do it. I'm going to release all of my courses completely for free here on YouTube. And I know your first immediate thought is, okay, what's the catch? Because most content creators would do something like this in hopes of boosting sales. You know, they'll like maybe give you a quarter of the course and they're like, if you want to watch the rest, go to my website. And it's not one of those things. All right. It, I'm literally just releasing my entire course. Um, I, I think I have like four or five courses, but I'm going to release all of them for free here on YouTube and you're not going to have to pay for them. Now, why I'm doing this, I'll get to here in a minute. But first, I just want to say, you know, uh, making a course takes a lot of work. I mean, look, just having a YouTube channel takes a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of dedication, a lot of energy. If you've ever done any type of content creation, you know what I'm talking about. This is a lot of work, but to create a course, man, that's even more work. You know, you've got to script out the course in the beginning. And honestly, it took me like a year to script out my courses and to write them, format them, get them where I wanted, organize everything so that it's a pretty quick process. And then it took another year to like shoot it and then get it all together and then edit it, which the editing takes forever. You know, there's different, there's a bunch of different setups for the shooting too, which takes forever. And then you have to have a website to house the courses on, right? And so I chose a website and unfortunately, I literally had to like build the entire website myself on the back end. I mean, I did have some help from the people that created the, the website that I house it on, but honestly, I feel like they just don't really wanna help you. They just kind of, uh, when you ask them questions, they seem annoyed, like how, you don't know how to set up the back end of a website and how to code and how to do all this, how do you not know how to do this? And it's like, no one knows how to do this. So anyway, um, um, I pretty much built everything by myself on the website. Every page that you see, I built it out. And then you have to upload the courses to the website, make sure everything's right, everything's correct. Then you have to do the thumbnails and the titles. It's a lot of work. It's taken me years to develop these courses and get them out to you guys. So anyway, I say all that to say, you know, making courses, even just having a YouTube channel, um, depending on how much time you decide to put in, and I've put in quite a lot. So being that I am releasing them for free for you guys, um, if you want to show your appreciation, if you want to say thank you, you can do the good old like, share, and subscribe. But really, honestly, if you want to like the videos, share the videos with as many people as you can, or just subscribe to the channel, it, it really is a huge help. It gets so, so tiring hearing uh, content creators say this, but honestly, it, it does help quite a lot. Um, it tells YouTube that people are watching your videos and that they're interested, and so YouTube starts pushing it out to more people. So if you do want to thank me or show your appreciation, those are a couple of things you can do. Another really easy thing you can do is if you're looking at buying some equipment, microphones, interfaces, whatever, I do have a recommended equipment equipment link in all of my descriptions. And if you purchase anything from those links, I do get a small commission at absolutely no extra cost to you whatsoever. So that would be a really easy way if you wanted to show your appreciation. You could potentially even give me a super thanks if you're feeling crazy. And as, as silly as this may sound, I'm going to create playlists for the courses, and I've already created playlists on my channel, but if you just want to go to one of my playlists that are really long and just hit play and walk away, I would, I would so appreciate that. That would be amazing. You don't even have to be paying attention. Again, it's just going to tell YouTube, hey, people are watching his content. I'm going to share this with more people. It's going to keep people on YouTube. Anyway, if you want to do that, that'd be fantastic. I might even create an apparel uh, shop or something, you know, with like logos for shirts or coffee mugs or I don't know. I may not even do that. I'm just saying I might. I'm not sure yet. I'm still probably going to offer private coaching. Um, I, you know, it, if I offer private coaching, the link will work. If I don't offer private coaching, the link won't work. But I probably will still offer some private coaching. It'll be very limited. So if you guys want to do any of those things just to show your appreciation and say thank you for releasing these courses for free and all that good stuff, I would I would so appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, and even if you don't do any of those things, thank you for just being here and watching this video and watching my content. Um, I, I appreciate literally anything you do because without you guys... I have no channel. Without you guys, I have nothing because without anyone viewing, what's the point, right? All right, so now, why am I doing this, right? Like, what what would make me take something I've spent so much time on and then just all of a sudden say, you know what? I'm not going to sell them anymore. I'm just going to release them for free. What would make me do that? Well, um, to be completely honest, uh, I'm quite fatigued. I'm quite fatigued with courses and YouTube and all that stuff. Uh, and I know a lot of people are, 
But, I, you know, it's just like finding ways to entice people to buy your courses, even though I never did any kind of scamminess, any, anything that was a scam, even, even good old honest, like, you know, just, just putting out my courses and saying, hey, I have some courses. If you'd like to buy it, it's really useful. It's going to be something you'll have for the rest of your life. You can come back to it whenever you need, blah, 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 blah. It just gets it just gets fatiguing. And and even if even if you're not doing things in a scammy way, because I know a lot of people are, I never did, it still kind of feels scammy. Not even though it's not. You just you, you just get to a point and you're like, my God, how many other ways can I try to get people to buy my courses? And and it's just it gets old. And also I know everyone out there is course fatigued. I mean, look, I love courses. I buy a lot of courses. Obviously, I've made courses and I'm selling courses or I was selling courses. But like, even though I buy a lot of them, I'm fatigued on courses, man. I'm tired of it. It's just, and, and you know, maybe it has something to do with the pandemic and we were all buying courses and we were all online and we we're all doing this stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of fatigued. I'm tired of it. I know a lot of people are sick of it and it's probably going to keep going on for a while where, you know, people are going to continuously be selling courses for a long time. And I don't know, obviously, um, at the time of this video, prices aren't great uh, uh, for everyone. Um, it's quite a hard time to live. You know, people are having a hard time affording literally just groceries and gas and just everyday goods. It's just insane right now. Um, not that that won't change. Maybe it will. Who knows? So yeah, I just decided why not just give my courses away for free. Now I will say the one thing I am going to do is look, I'm going to monetize these videos because I do want to make something off of the courses. You know, I spend a ton of time on them. I do want to make a little bit of money if I can. It's not going to be a lot. Trust me, YouTube does not pay a lot. It is just insane how little they pay. Um, but I'm still I'm going to monetize the videos. I'm going to have ads throughout the video. If you want to sit through the ad, I would appreciate it. That would be amazing. I couldn't thank you enough. If you don't want to sit through the ads, I totally understand. I get real sick of ads, man. I mean, like, who doesn't, right? No one likes ads. So if you feel impatient one day and you're like, you know what? I feel like I'm, I'll sit through this ad just so James gets some money. I love you. Thank you so much for doing that. If you don't, I love you too. I get it. I don't want to sit through them either. But anyway, I just decided to tell you that I'm going to monetize the, the video so I do make a little bit of something. And then lastly, am I going to keep doing this? Am I going to stay on YouTube? Honestly, as it stands, probably not. I'm probably done with YouTube. I'm probably not going to keep doing this. To be completely honest, I never wanted to be a YouTuber. I never wanted to be a content creator, you know? Like, I remember when I first started working at a voiceover studio and uh, their social media was just dead, like flatlined. There was no subscribers, no views on their videos. It was just dead. And I remember making some videos for them. And all of a sudden, boom, their social media came to life. Their YouTube started getting views. They started getting subscribers. Like my second video was just going nuts, just, just increasing, increasing, increasing. And now it's at like 100 something K or something like that. And, uh, and then it made me just realize like, oh, I, maybe I maybe I can do this. I don't know. And I still didn't even want to at the time. I just saw a little bit of success and thought, why not run with it? And so I created my own channel, my own business. I started doing it on my own. Um, and, you know, I had some success, obviously, uh, or else you wouldn't be watching this video. Uh, but I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I got to a point where it's like, dude, I'm putting in so much time, so much effort for so little in return. It's just not, it didn't make sense anymore. It doesn't make sense anymore. At this point, it's almost like I'm just torturing myself, to be completely honest. Um, so I don't think I'm going to do YouTube anymore. And look, you know what the Bieber says, never say never. So look, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back. Maybe, maybe I'll decide in a year, you know what, maybe I'll come back to YouTube. I don't know, but probably not. I'm pretty fatigued. And I know I'll, I only did it for a couple of years, right? I've only done it for like four years or something like that. And I'm already just so fatigued. And most creators get to like 10 years before they even start feeling fatigue. Um, or at least a lot of creators do from what I've heard. Um, but I think it's just the fact that I decided to do a bunch of, st not stupid, I won't say stupid. I just decided to do a bunch of um, a bunch of career choices that were like playing the lottery. Like, 
you know, I, I started with music and, and that that's very difficult to break into. And then I was an actor for like seven years. And if anybody knows anything about acting, it's a horrible ratio. Like it's a horrible rejection filled industry. I mean, there's obviously a lot that's wrong with um, that industry, but you know, just to try to put it into perspective, you're auditioning, like at the very least, you're auditioning like maybe once a week, maybe. And let's just put it into perspective. That's like getting rejected once a week for seven years. And it could have been more and it could have been less. You know, it was like a fluctuation. And the problem is with acting, with voice acting, you know, a lot of people are like, yeah, dude, a good ratio is like you go out for 100 auditions and you maybe book one. It sounds crazy to someone who's never been in the acting industry. It sounds like that's horrible odds. Those are horrible statistics, but realistically, that's average. That's average. So you're just getting rejected constantly. And then same with voice acting. So I started doing voice acting, same thing. So I think I just, I think I didn't have much of a, much of a patience left for this type of stuff. And so that's why I got fatigued so fast, I think. But anyway, um, I just wanted to release this video and let everybody know the future of my channel, what's happening with me and all that good stuff. I don't really get too personal with my videos. You know, most of my videos, it's just very informational because I'm just trying to give you guys information to make better decisions when purchasing gear like microphones and, and things like that. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone that tuned in, that watched my videos, that liked my videos, that commented on my videos. Like anything, anything. If you ever reached out to me on social media, if you ever reached out to me in the videos, like if I ever did any kind of sessions with you, private coaching, home studio builds, effects, stacks, whatever the case may be, I can't thank you enough. I'm not really going to be able to express that in the way that I wish I could express that. Uh, other than I guess the fact that I'm just releasing my courses for free to everyone. I guess that's how I express my gratitude for these past few years. I just want you to know it means a lot. It means a lot and I appreciate it. And I hope all of you got a lot out of my videos. I hope all of you got a lot out of my channel. And uh, I just wish you well. And then lastly, I guess um, I just want to thank, you know, all the brands that sent me stuff that that, you know, supported me and helped me review things. And, you know, I'm going to miss some, so I'm not even going to say names because I'll just end up missing like five or 10 of them and, and feel like an idiot later and feel horrible. So thank you to all the brands that sent me stuff to review. Um, you know, look, put it this way. There was only like one or two things that I ever reviewed on my channel that I, I didn't necessarily like, that I was like, ah, oh, this is not a good product. And I think honestly, it was only Maybe it was only one. Either way, I made a decision very early on that like, I'm not going to just take brands sending me stuff and review it if I don't like it. And there was actually a few times where um, I had to, I, I did a review for the product and I had to send the um, the brand like, hey, I don't think you want me releasing this review. <laughs> I, I don't say many good things about it. Um, yeah, so... You know, I always tried to do right by my viewers and by the people watching my channel and uh, tried to only review things that I supported, that I would use myself, that I liked. And so pretty much everything you see on my channel, every review you see, it's because I, I love the company, I love the brand, I love the gear, right? Which this is the SE Electronics X1A. Amazing microphone. It's my favorite microphone right now. Um, as you guys know, if you watch the channel, the Rode NT1 has been my favorite mic for a long time, but I think this is my favorite microphone now. And it's like a $100 microphone, man. Like you can't beat it. It's a $100 microphone. I, You know, if you want to see the review, it's on my channel. But anyway, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all of you. Um, anyway, I'm just going to shut myself up now because I'm just going to continue rambling. So thank you all. Um, maybe I'll see you later. And Honestly, this goes without saying, but you know what they say.